Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Pomodoro technique and why I think it's such a good technique for all of you doing your GCSEs or A-levels, even for higher education. Keep watching this video to find out more. So I've been using the Pomodoro technique for about a few weeks now. It's a really good technique. It's really good for short, snappy revision sessions. I've been doing it for 25 minutes with a five minute break. So a very classic Pomodoro. Talk about this more later on in the video. And while I think longer revision sessions are really good, the Pomodoro for me is also quite good and it's a technique I really recommend. So you may be wondering, what is the Pomodoro technique? The strategy of this technique is working for 25 minutes and then having a five minute break. And then you repeat this for how however many sessions until you get things done. But normally what they also advise is after three Pomodoros, you take a 10 minute break after that much productivity. Why I think the technique is so good is because for those 25 minutes, you're purely doing revision or work. You're not distracted at all. All those distractions are put away somewhere. And for me, how I've been using it for the last three weeks, it's really been working. I get things done much faster instead of procrastinating, which used to be a problem in the past. I'm sure many of you've had this experience if you use similar techniques techniques. And I think for any of you struggling to find your revision technique, you should really try out the Pomodoro. So I think this image describes the technique really well and it should be on the screen now. Okay, so the next part of this video is how to use the Pomodoro technique. So what I like to do is plan out my Pomodoro technique in advance. So however many tasks I have to do, I add those into Pomodoros. So let's say if I'm doing three Pomodoros, I do five tasks in one, four tasks in the next, maybe six tasks in the last, really depends. And it also depends on what tasks you have, essays, kind of shorter homeworks, whatever you do. Another thing that some people like to do with their Pomodoros is plan them into revision timetables. As you know, I hate those types of things. I have instead like a to-do list of all the things I need to get done. I write down, for example, for French revision, I write down what I need to revise for that session and then I just slot it in whenever I have time. That kind of also leads to having really good time management, which I can make a video in the future. And also, if you do want to see a to-do list video in the future, comment down below because I really wouldn't mind making one. I honestly love making to-do lists. It's kind of a weird kind of habit of mine. So let me know if you want one. So another thing on how you should use the Pomodoro technique is just focus on the task you're doing at the time. Don't kind of overthink it. For example, for chemistry homework, what I do is I just get the chemistry homework done. Don't think of what else I have to do. Then as I go through, I have three sessions. I know I can get things done. Okay, so some other good techniques I have for the Pomodoro is cut out distractions. Distractions kind of really lessen the time and pr how productive you are in those 25 minutes. I don't have a phone, so that kind of solves some of those distractions. And I also don't have social media, but some people like social media and they also have a phone. I advise probably put it like in another room under your bed, under your mattress, under your covers, whatever you want to do. Also, if you have, for example, I am working on an iPad, if you have a laptop, mute any notifications that you know you don't need. So on my iPad, I have a few games, so I mute those notifications since I don't really need them. So other things you could do to cut out distractions are wear headphones, kind of noise cancelling headphones, and or listen to some music to cut out those noise, or perhaps listen to something else if you're making flashcards like a podcast or audiobook. So I didn't really kind of think of this tip. It was more something I researched and found online, but it's a really good tip, so I thought I'd share. If you often get distracted with many ideas or kind of designs of something you want to do, sometimes I have ideas for some projects I'm working on that are completely unrelated to what I'm doing, and I finally found the solution for them. So what you want to do is kind of have like a notepad or pen next to you, and then write down whatever you are distracted by. And don't mind me, I'm just kind of looking here. Oh yeah, so I've said this multiple times before, take good breaks, don't skip your five minutes, 10 minutes, keeps you productive, keeps you going, keeps you motivated, highly recommend. Another thing you should definitely do, and it's something certain of the Pomodoro technique, is use a timer to track your session. So I have my watch over here that I use, or I use my iPad timer, or sometimes you can use physical timers if you have them, I don't, so I just use digital ones. But physical timers also can be really good. Okay, so another thing you should do is kind of edit your sessions if you've done loads of revision. Maybe let's stop focusing on revision if you've done lots of it and maybe focus on homework. This is something I might keep in or keep out. Okay, so this is 
is the recap of everything that I've talked about in this video. Plan your session. Second thing, add it to your revision timetable, to-do list, whatever you want to do. Third thing is focus on one task at a time. Don't get distracted by other things. And this moves on to the fourth thing that I've talked about, no distractions. Get rid of any distractions on your phone. Instead, wear headphones, listen to lo-fi music. Other things you should do are take your breaks, use a timer and edit after a bit. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a bit more about the Pomodoro technique and maybe you'll consider using it in the future. Don't know. Comment down below if you do consider using it and also comment any video ideas that you want to see. And now I'm going to go because it's nearly a study. Bye.